Occupational and Professional Licensing Real Estate Appraisers General Provisions. Page 2. D. To review and verify the work of appraisers. Number 5. Appraisal review is the act or process of developing and communicating an opinion about the quality of another appraiser's work that was performed as part of an appraisal or an appraisal review assignment. The appraisal reviewer must have certification that corresponds with or is higher than the level of licensure required to perform the initial appraisal. Number six, assignment means one or more real estate appraisals and written appraisal reports covered by a single contractual agreement for a specified number of properties. B, terms starting with the letter B are defined as follows. Broker price opinion means an opinion by a qualifying or associate broker of the price of real estate for the purpose of marketing, selling, purchasing, leasing, or exchanging the real estate or any interest therein or for the purposes of providing a financial institution with a collateral assessment of any real estate in which the financial institution has an existing or potential security interest provided that the opinion of the price shall not be referred to or construed as an appraisal or appraisal report and shall not be used as the primary basis to determine the value of real estate for the purpose of loan origination. C. Terms starting with the letter C are defined as follows. Number one, complaint committee shall be appointed by the board. The chairperson of the committee shall be an appraiser board member. The board appointed complaint committee is for the purpose of review of complaints and shall make recommendations to the board as to its findings. No real estate appraiser organization shall have a majority membership on the committee. Number two, complex means a one to four family residential property appraisal in which the property to be appraised, the form of ownership or the market conditions are atypical. Number three, content approval for distance education, non-academic credit college courses provided by a college shall be approved by the Appraiser Qualifications Board, AQB, and the New Mexico Real Estate Appraisers Board. D. Terms starting with the letter D are defined as follows. Duly made application 
means an application to the New Mexico Real Estate Appraisers Board, including sub paragraphs A through G set out below in addition to any other requirements of the board. Number one, a completed application on the form provided by the board. The form must be signed by the applicant attesting to the truthfulness of the information provided in the application. Electronic signatures shall be acceptable. Number two, letters of verification from at least three individuals who are not related to the applicant but who are acquainted personally and professionally with him slash her and who can attest that the applicant is of good moral character and is competent number three a statement attesting that he slash she is a native, a naturalized citizen, or a legal resident of the United States. Number four, transcripts or certificates or statements showing successful completion of the required appraisal courses. Number five, a recent photograph of the applicant in which the applicant clearly is discernible. The photograph must be at least two inches by three inches in size. Number six, a check or money order for the fees set out in 16.62.12.8 NMAC. Number seven, an appraiser experience log recorded on the forms approved by the board or on another approved form if required. E, terms starting with the letter E are defined as follows. Number one, Education Advisory Committee shall be appointed by the board for the purpose of review of applications for course approval and sponsorship approval of appraisal educational offerings and shall make recommendations to the board as to its findings. Membership in a professional organization or association shall not be a prerequisite to serve on the committee. No real estate appraiser organization shall have a majority membership on the committee. Number two, ethics rule emphasizes the personal and professional obligations and responsibilities of the individual appraiser. Number three, experience is defined as verifiable time spent in performing tasks in accordance with the definition of appraisal and appraisal assignment as stated in the act section 61-30-3 nmsa 1978 such tasks Include inspecting and analyzing properties, assembling and analyzing relevant market data, 
forming objective opinions as to the value, quality, or utility of such properties, and preparing reports or file memoranda showing data, reasoning, and conclusions. Professional responsibility for the evaluation function is essential for experience credit. End of page.